It's getting colder day by day and it's also getting harder to just randomly go outside and sketch whatever is on your mind or whatever you try to capture without getting yourself wet and cold. Hey guys, welcome to another sketching video. Um, this time I want to talk about sketching at home and how to keep practicing and capturing all those memories without even leaving the house. To be fair, it's not that terrible to sketch in the winter times when you catch a sunny day, but sometimes when you look outside, it seems a bit uninviting to have to wrap yourself into five coats of warm clothing, a rain jacket, just to look for a safe place to not get the paper wet. So this is a little guide for sketching at home and I want to give a few tips what I do on these kind of days and how to approach sketching when you don't want to get bored. Okay, this might be an obvious one, but if you think about it, there are just so many ways on how to capture your own life and um, here are a few of them. I often try to sketch some objects that don't seem as interesting on its own, but when you look closely, there are different ways on making boring objects more interesting. For example, small little objects like your simple cup of tea or your brushes, keys, shoes, whatever. I try to leave them as they are and focus myself on the little details that I would have missed if I would draw the entire room, for example. So let's take this cup again and think of new ways of how to sketch it. Maybe there is a new technique that you didn't try it before, like some new colors or a different medium you wanted to try out. Simple objects like these are great for experiments. I also like to sketch it a few times, but in like different perspectives, different stylizations, different backgrounds. This way I have a lot of cups and can see what works better or worse and what I want to focus on more. When you look around, there are many, many things you could use for that, especially when your room is a bit messy in some places. These could be pretty interesting and nice compositions. Do you live with your parents or your siblings? Um, do you have some friends that visit from time to time? Or do you even have a roommate? Perfect. It's pretty hard to find random people to draw. Most of the times when you sketch outside, they're rushing by and you have to hurry to catch a nice pose. Or you have to look for people sitting somewhere like in trains or buses. And I sometimes feel a little bit sneaky doing that. So if you have somebody at home who you can draw, go for it. Since I live with my boyfriend, I often sketch him doing random tasks, just as I would sketch people outside. Like in the other one, you can just change up some perspectives to get more variations. And since people are always moving, it's also a nice exercise to sketch quickly and get a base down to fill it up. Or you can ask to pose for a specific reference you want to draw. It's sometimes hard finding the right perspectives and movements you're searching for and it's so easy to just ask someone to hold a pose for a minimal amount of time just so you can get the proportions right. After that you can make a totally different character or person out of this just using these proportions you've got. And if you don't know anybody you could just draw your pets. <laughs> I used to draw my cat a lot back then when I was living at home. Yes, I've talked about this a lot in the previous tips, but you can draw your entire room out of different angles. Especially when there are angles where you can see the vanishing points. It's a great practice for perspective drawings like you would do with architecture outside. When you have problems, you can use guiding lines to make sure that everything's looking right. And then you can try this without any at all. Try to create a feeling for how high or low your eyesight is and how the perspective looks from this. When you try to catch everything you see, you might also draw your own hands and sketchbook or your feet or whatever is on your side of you. Speaking of which... Just place a mirror in front of you and observe what you see. This is a better practice than drawing from simple photos of yourself. It's not that easy as it seems, since you know your face pretty well, but whenever I try to capture my face, it looks different each time. Meaning that I still shift some observations and not capture them right. 
And if you're not going for a realistic type of style, you can just stylize your own face. Look at the proportions of your eyes, your nose, your mouth. Is there a specific facial feature you can exaggerate or find a simple shape to make it clear? I mean, this is nothing that I can do in particular because I'm living in front of a huge white wall and just once every few hours I see a person walking by for like 10 seconds. But if you have a window where you can see your entire neighborhood or when you're living up high where you can just look down on the streets, there are just so many people crossing by or cars, um, even plants that change with the season. So I think there's just so much sketching material out there. Okay, these were like observational kind of sketches and if you're a bit tired of your own surroundings and just want to see something new, I have another great tip. I've shown this already in one of my vlogs, but if you want to see a completely new area, there are these um, channels on YouTube that make these walking type videos from cities all over the world. These are just some of the channel names, there are a lot more out there. And the way I practice with these kind of videos is to look for a nice place and pause the video and make an urban sketching scene, pretending that I was there in person. It's of course something different than being there for real, but these may be places that I never will see in real life and having these little glimpses of new areas and surroundings is still a nice way of bringing some variety to your sketches. So it's a bit like traveling to different countries or sites. And if you're still not satisfied with these options of sketching inside, you can just grab yourself a warm cup of tea or coffee and watch your favorite movie and draw your favorite scenes out of this. There are so many beautiful shots and color compositions. There are always some new places, people's living rooms or different streets of other characters' lives to explore. Okay, these were my tips for urban sketching at home or sketching at home. I hope there was some helpful advice. If not, you can still go to cafes or some warm places to sketch um, in these colder months. But I wanted to show some options for drawing at home. And if I've missed something, I surely have because there are just so many ways um, to sketch inside. Feel free to tell me in the comments. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you in my next videos. Uh, and until next time. Bye.